Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast, where you can use your crochet to build a business that will give you the lifestyle you've been dreaming of. What do you want out of this? Why are you selling your crochet? Why is it important to you? What do you want to achieve by doing it? These questions might seem unimportant, but actually they are the key to succeeding because our reasons for doing it become our reasons for keeping going when times get hard. You know, business is not easy. Selling anything is not easy. If it was, everyone would be doing it. And so when things do get a bit tough, when we're finding that our social media accounts aren't growing, the sales aren't coming in, we've got difficult customers and things just are not working, the tech's all going wrong. When these things happen, our reasons for doing this, for trying to build a business and create money from it, those reasons become really important because it's those reasons that are going to keep us going. So as even if it feels like you're just doing it because you want to, or just want to make a bit of cash for the house to help with the finances, just want to squirrel a bit of extra money away for a rainy day, drill down on that and make it really substantial. Instead of I just want to do it. Why do you want to do it? Is that you want something of your own to be a bit more independent, to not just be mum? Do you want to bring in some more money to help with finances because you're struggling? Because maybe the day job isn't paying you what you hoped? Maybe you've got this idea in the back of your mind that maybe you would like to leave the day job and live off your business. Maybe it's a distant dream, but is it at the back of your mind? Do you want to be able to create a better standard of living for you and your family? Do you want to be able to quit the nine to five? where you can't take any time off unless somebody allows you to? Do you want the freedom to be able to take the time off when you decide? Do you want to create a better life for your family, for you, for your children? Do you want to be able to quit the rat race? Whatever your reasons are, make it so that's it it becomes important because if we just shrug our shoulders and go yeah i just want a bit of extra cash it's something that's optional it's that shrug of the shoulders it makes it sound unimportant that it's uh, a nice to do thing a little hobby that doesn't matter if it doesn't work out Treating it that way means that you're not going to get through those hard times. You're not going to push through to find the solutions you need to make it work. We need a real tangible why. The reason to push through. To not quit, to keep going when we hit a brick wall. You need to be able to get over that brick wall. And you need a real reason to do so. And it's got to be important to you. If it's not important, you're not going to have the motivation to put that effort in, to dig down and to get over that hurdle. Knowing what you want out of this business, what you want out of this little crochet side gig you've got going on, is what's going to make the difference between having a little bit of a hustle on the side to something that can change your life. 
and it is possible for that to happen. Don't listen to the naysayers who say nobody buys crochet, nobody's going to pay for that. That's not about you, that's about them and their lack of ambition. You can do what you want. You can change your life with your crochet. You can make it a full-time job. You can create the lifestyle that you want for you and your family. You can quit the nine to five. You can build a business where you can take time off when you want. If that's what you want and if you want it enough. Knowing what you want out of this, knowing what your ambitions are and what you would like to achieve and how your crochet is going to get you there, knowing these answers is what's going to get you there, what is going to keep you going. So take out a piece of paper, write down what you want. Why do you want it? Keep asking yourself why, why, why until you get to an answer that's going, it, it's something you can grasp. It's something that you can keep in mind to keep going. I'm doing this because I want that better life. I don't want to do the nine to five. I don't want to do the commute every morning. I don't want to rely on childcare to be able to look after my child so I can get my hours in the day job. I want to be able to afford a family holiday every year without having to worry about breaking the bank. I want to spend time with my son so I can see him grow and enjoy that time without worrying about the money and be able to give him the life experiences that I want to give him. I want that freedom to live life the way I want. And having all that in mind and having the detail in my mind is what keeps things going for me. I would love for you to have that in mind as well. You don't have to communicate the details to everyone. I mean, if anyone asks, you just need to give them the broad picture. But as long as you know the detail, as long as it's in your mind what it is that you want. I've got a really vivid picture in my mind of what I want. And it's, it, it is intr instrumental keeping me going when... The tech won't work when I can't get the words right. When I hit a blip with sales and it doesn't matter what stage you are in your business, you will always hit blips at some point. These reasons and answers push th help you push through all that. It's the motivation to keep going. I hope this helps and I hope that you can get all this fix in your mind and you'll find that it makes such a difference when those hurdles come along so thank you for joining me today and i shall see you next time for the next episode bye for now